I see it. Some slight. I'm just coming off on the silly screen. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs back here for another video. Now I'm bringing this video to you guys for 400 subscribers. I appreciate you guys a lot for getting me to that goal. It seems like we're slowly and slowly growing more and more every single day and I'm so appreciative for you guys helping me out on this journey. Now today we are going to be working on the Lexus LS430. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing the fact amp. Nope. Nope, not the amp. We're replacing the sub. So the sub in the back of the trunk on top of the, where like the back seats are, that little ledge right there has a sub belt built into it. And recently it has gone out. It just sounds like crap. It when bass hits, all that weird stuff. So today we're going to try to figure that out and get it running perfectly. Now, I'm going to take you guys to the car real quick, but the part does exist. Uh, so it's like a rebuilt kit for the subwoofer. Basically, I'm going to grab the box and show you what's good with it. So guys, I've been so caught up in doing stuff for investments and working to get my car situated that I haven't had much time to really work on the cars or make videos for you guys or any of that. So right now, I have a little bit of free time. I was thinking, let's make this video and make it happen real quick for you guys. So basically, this is what you get in the box right here. Oh, can't show none of that. Uh. But basically, this is the box you get. Now let me open it up. Basically, that doesn't exist. But this right here is what's going to fix this factory subwoofer. So basically, what happens over time, when the subwoofer does go out, it tends to break all the way around its seal. And this is a brand new seal. So what we're going to do is take the old sub out, take all the goop off, clean it up, and then glue this one on. And it should be a pretty straightforward process. So I'm going to take you guys out to the car and let's see how it looks because man i'm so down to do some car stuff right now you feel me it feels like a perfect day to get some work done on these cars and you guys have been asking for ls430 content for the longest and i'm sorry i haven't been recently uploading consistently but i'm gonna start trying to get back into that just for you guys because i love you guys the support on every single video i put out you guys show so much love and i appreciate it so hey 500 we already hit 500 subs so video is going to be coming out for that soon <sighs> big plans big plans but there's a little word on the Jetta I'm going to make a different video about the blue Jetta there's a lot of stuff going on right now there might be a new car who knows we'll find out about that soon but guys there's a lot of stuff in the works that I have for you guys that I can't yet release and I want to so for today we're just going to stick with the LS 430 we're gonna get this job done and get it done as quickly as we can because there's not a lot of time for daylight anymore so I want to get it done as quick as possible so that's why we got the kit I've been sitting on this for the past couple like four months trying to decide on whether I wanted to make it a video or not and I think it's the proper time because it's something that everybody probably has a common issue on their car or on the LS 430 in general that this kit exists because if there was no problems this kit wouldn't exist so it's got to be a common issue and hopefully this helps the bass and all that good stuff and hopefully we can get a good quality sound system out of the car I mean it has a good quality system already just the bass is what sucks it got you feel me so what we're gonna do is replace that I'm gonna take you guys out to the car show you guys around a little bit and see what you guys think we are now stepping outside yes ma'am yes sir so basically I don't want to show you too much outside because I got the cars out here but I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what has been happening with the cars so far lately so reason why I haven't been able to be making videos especially on this Lexus right here because it's been broken for a fat minute <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going wrong with it and I can't seem to find the reason of what's wrong it's having some weird limp mode issue where it won't leave limp mode so it makes this a pain in the butt to drive it doesn't go over 55 and it's slow getting up to that and I don't know if you guys have any idea of what this could be I already changed out the camshaft positioning sensor the cam I, I replaced basically everything I replaced everything on the vehicle I replaced everything from spark plugs coil packs the computer itself the camshaft positioning sensors the crankshaft sensor and now I'm at the point where I'm thinking it's evap related haven't been looking into it it's not a common issue but the car's going haywire so I hope you guys can help me out figure something out yeah everything's been replaced to 
yeah, there's just basically everything that could have been a common issue or something wrong and can't figure it out. So if you guys have any suggestions or any thoughts down below, please leave them down there because that would help a lot. But look at this thing. Ugh. Ugh. Lexus LS430 for the win. We got big things coming for it. Um, as you guys can see also in the distance, we got blue. Uh, I want to make a separate video on that because it's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. And who knows what's going to happen with that. But what I can worry about right now is this one. This one you guys have been wanting lots of videos to come out about because it's getting real deep into the build. But something happened with the car. Uh, the drive shaft broke again, so we got to send it back to the shop, which is sad. Something happened with the coilover, which led the drive shaft to break. So, yeah. But basically, guys, we just hopped up in the car, about to turn it on. You hear how much trouble it's having turning on. That's another issue, too. We have a leaky fuel line. I don't think it gets enough pressure to begin with. So it takes a little bit longer to start up. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be replaced. So I just hope I can get it in the shop soon after I finish my stuff that I need to handle. Uh, all I can say is there's a lot coming for the Blue Jetta and you guys are gonna really enjoy it. But anyways, let's get into the sound system right here. Uh, to be able to view the sound system itself, you go to audio, it shows you all the stuff. Let me close this door real quick. So it shows you all the stuff on the screen. Right now I have it set because I have a Bluetooth a transmitter in this car so I can play music through Bluetooth onto the radio since this car doesn't have it from factory uh, this late model or early model uh, doesn't come with that option so uh, basically they provide stuff that you can buy at your local Walmart AutoZone any auto parts store transmitters um, basically you just cop one and you can uh, use it to Play music through your car from your phone. Simple as that. But basically, what I'm going to do is show you guys how this audio system works. What we're going to do is just kick it to a random radio station. Let's just say... So guys, the bass is fully up right now. You guys are going to be able to see. So basically, guys, what's happening is the sub isn't attached to anything. So it's just flopping and it's making weird noises because... Uh, the material that the sub is made out of which creates that sound so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to disassemble it take it apart put the new ring on get it all sealed up so we don't have that problem anymore and hopefully someday soon we can get an actual full-blown system in this car because there's a lot of big things coming for this car uh, so other than that let's uh, dig, some, dig some more into the vehicle see where we can disconnect the sub from and then be able to get this all set up and finished so that we can have a functioning sub because I'm kind of tired of having to roll with the car with no base and everything's just going wrong on this car so hopefully everything will be situated soon but let's get this sub fixed real quick it's the little things that count the little things so yeah let's get into it so guys, I came inside, it's nice and cool in here, and I'm just chilling. I'm not, I don't feel like doing it today. There's a lot to take apart in the back. Apparently, you have to take apart all the body panels on the inside, take the seats out, and uh, remove the rear deck. Which, um, to be honest, don't have enough daylight for that, and I gotta, I gotta drive the car to work in a little bit. So I don't really feel like taking apart the whole car and then have to drive it to work, you feel me? So we're just gonna cut to the next day I work on the car, and this is gonna be like 30 seconds for you, so yeah, it's gonna be milliseconds, actually. Uh, so let's let's cut to that scene where we're taking everything apart. Let's go. All right, guys. So it is now the next day. I actually got sent some videos uh, about the actual speaker on the car. So apparently you can just cut a piece of the carpet out that's underneath that little shield that holds that sub box in. So it's like nice and like very good looking. You know what I'm saying? So basically you take that cover off. There's extra pieces of carpet under there that you can actually cut out and just pull the sub out from there instead of having to take the seats out get to get to the uh the little back dash port but today we're gonna do that uh reviewed the video a little bit basically you just want to cut along lines i gotta get an exacto blade or exacto knife or just a knife in general and try to cut this so simple it should take like 15 minutes we're gonna hop to the car go do that real quick and see how this goes pull out the sub and get everything started i'm gonna bring the pieces back in here because i gotta be able to like shave off the old sub crap and then put the new one on and glue it all together and have it sit in here so that it can dry and all that good stuff so let's get to the car and let's get it all situated let's go 
So guys, I acquired the keys themselves. It's gonna help a lot with unlocking the car and being able to get in to do this job. I actually copped this knife. I found it in the house. I couldn't find an exacto blade, but this should be sharp enough to cut through the carpet. So hopefully it works out for us. Uh, but let's get into the car so I can show you exactly what we are doing so you guys can have a visual representation of everything. Let's go. Cool, cool, cool. We in the Lexus. Over here. Yeah. Got to unlock it. Get that door open. Propped up. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to cut along these lines here up down and on the same thing over there and then cut straight across there and we should be able to lift this up out from there so so guys i'm gonna try to set you up so you guys can watch the process kind of like a time lapse of me getting this done and then pull the sub out and then i'll do all the finishing touches after we get the sub out because that's when all this extra goofy little box crap comes into play you feel me so uh, let's get into it get this done as quick as possible so that this car can have a functioning sub OEM though We're gonna do a setup pretty soon. Ooh, I'm thinking about it. We got ideas Put down in the comments what you guys think we should do for the sound system on this car got a few ideas But I want to hear what you guys perspective is so let's get into it Now guys, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, I gotta cut out a couple slots right here for these 10 millimeter bolts, but these other 10 millimeter bolts are right under here. I'm gonna cut a little bit out extra on these sides as well, uh, just to be able to get to these bolts. And yeah, we'll have the sub box out in no time. Yes, sir. All right guys, we're done with that. Now it's time to go grab the 10 mil and get this out. Let's do it. So guys, I just got the bolts out. Now it's time to set you guys back up to see me pull this out. I already got it kind of halfway out, but I just need to shimmy it out. And you guys will see what I'm talking about right now. All right, guys, now it's time to go do the fun stuff. Got the sub out. I was tiring, but look at how tiny this thing is. I'm pretty sure this thing even fully fixes and push that much, but we are gonna do something later on in this car. It's gonna be sick. Um, it's gonna be a dope setup, but this is what we got so far. So let's fix it and at least have a decent sound system in this car. So let's go take this inside and get it all set up. Let's go. All right, guys, so, so far, got the T, I think this is a T15, I believe. Now, this is a T20 Torx bit screw. Takes out these four screws that go here, here, and here. Just took them off. Now, basically, should be able to flip this over and take the screen off. Fit. Oh, all right, there we go. So, basically, that just comes off like this. Now, we are in the area to be able to take all this crummy stuff off and then be able to put a new one on. Uh, I think what's best for me to do is grab a razor blade. I kind of got to clean off the speaker too. Uh, get all that old sub crap off that's already all nasty and you can see me picking away at it. But all this extra crap, because basically what the issue is, this piece right here, uh, this is a brand new O-ring for the sub. So basically we're gonna glue this on and it's gonna take care of that weird sub noise that we've been having and actually have a decently good sound system in the car. So what I gotta do is I gotta scrape all this crap off the edges so that there's a good surface to mount this on so that we won't have any problems with the sub anymore. You gotta think the car is um, 19 years old now. So since it's 19 years old, heat and stuff is always gonna take a hold of rubber pieces and plastic and stuff like that. So getting this done, should make the sound system sound like brand new. So let's get into this. 
Uh, I gotta start cleaning this up and then we'll get into the rest of this restoration of a sub. You feel me? Yeah, let's get into it. So guys, I just finished cleaning it as best as I could personally. This was tiring, but I tried to do as best as I could. There's not really much more I can do. There's still a little bit of like foam residue from the foam that like seats it inside and make sure the sound is secure. But I got the inside pretty much basically cleaned up. Like you guys can see, there's really no residue on there on either side. So that looks good. I got all the residue off of the speaker. Now probably what I'm gonna do is grab some acetone or alcohol and just rub it down and make sure it's like all clean and get the rest of this crap off. Uh, but basically it's ready to get this little piece put on and sealed with the glue and I gotta let it sit. And basically that'll be done. And then it goes back into the car and after that we get to test it and see if it solves the sub issue so i'm looking forward to it but right now i'm gonna cut and then we'll get to the part where we put this in let's get it. oh let's get it so guys we're back at it again about to bust this out got all the things i need basically went and picked up some foam oh let me grab that real quick basically went and picked up some foam you guys can see it's pretty thick Basically, this should uh, provide a good seal around this ring right here and also down below here as well. Basically, that's it. I'm going to go grab some alcohol pads. We're going to clean up this area right here, make sure it's all prepped for paint or not paint, but prepped to be painted with glue. That's what I meant. So, yeah, let me go grab those pads real quick. I probably should grab a Scotch-Brite pad. That'd probably work a lot better. To be honest yeah i'm gonna do that clean this off with a scotch bright pad and then put some alcohol on this scrub it down and then prepare to put the piece on let's get it all right y'all so i grabbed the scotch bright pad right here about to just scrub this off and i'll catch up with you guys when i'm done six and a half hours later all right so now guys since we got this all situated i went around the whole thing with a scotch bright pad basically Should be pretty much basically spotless with all these this extra foam crap or residue from the old subwoofer like ring i guess you would call it so i grab basically i grabbed alcohol pads and basically i'm just going to clean the edges up make sure that it's all like clean i guess you would say very strong very spicy mm, okay but anyways guys i'm just going to clean the edge and make sure that it has a good surface to paint the glue onto just so that when we do insert the glue it sticks and it stays stick so we don't have the sub messing up again in the future but basically this lip right here is gonna sit in here like so and it's gonna glue on to the subwoofer itself and it's also gonna glue onto the edge and it sandwiches in between these two things so I think it's gonna be a vibe, I think so. Basically it comes with this little bag right here with a paintbrush and a glue stick, uh, or a tube of glue I guess you would say. So guessing we just add glue to the paintbrush, paint it onto this right here and then paint it on there and stick it to each other. I'm guessing that's exactly how this works. Never done a sub replacement or repair like this in the past, so this is very new to me. Um, but basically I think we just like brush it on, stick it on, and it should be solid. So I'm gonna see what I can do right now. See how this comes out. Oh, 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 that's not good. It just.
spiffy. Looks like brand new. Like if I were to order one brand new, it kind of looks exactly like that. But it's not brand new. It's just remade. It's repaired. You feel me? So solid. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Spicy. Spicy. It's time to go put this back in the car after it's done driving. So I'm going to catch up with you guys when it's done drying. It's time to get put back in the car so we can get an accurate representation of how the sound changes and how it sounds now compared to how it sounded before. So I'm going to snap a finger and we're going to get into it. So guys, it's finally that time. Grab the Lexus key. Everything should be... Hold on, let me turn on this light. Yup, all right. Everything should be dry. It's time to go put this in the Lexus. I let it dry for about two days. So it should be solid. The glue should be good. So let's grab this real quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. All right, let's go put this in the Lexus real quick. Test the sound and see if it makes it any better. It should make it a... Mm, a ton better you know what I'm saying so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go throw this in take you guys with me and then see how it goes so I'll meet you guys in the car let's go So guys, we're now at the car, and guess what? I got to uh, move this mic around because it's facing the opposite direction, but basically, got this up, about to put it in. I'm gonna set you guys up on the inside of the car, and hopefully get this all functioning and get to test it and see the difference. Let's go. Alright guys, so I finally got it in the car. You guys can kind of tell that it's very, very hot inside of the car. It's actually a nice day out, but inside a black car with black leather and tinted wind. Oh my god, it's just, it's hot. Hot as can be. So, I finally got it in. It's all hooked up and everything. Brand new, basically. Right now, we're going to turn on the car and try to test and see if we can get any good bass. That's basically the whole thing behind this is getting good bass out of the car without an aftermarket system because these things always tend to go bad for LS430 owners and we fixed it. Bluetooth ready to pair. I gotta get my phone. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I went and got my phone. So now it's time to test the bass. I'm actually gonna mess with the audio settings because I have the bass turned all the way down because the sub was shit. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn the bass we're gonna start mid-range. I'm gonna go ahead and do a non-copyright bass so you guys can actually hear it because first clip I played it was off the radio and I know I'm gonna get some copyright for that. So now we're gonna do no copyright bass. So let's do it. All right guys, let's get it. Reaction. It actually sounds good. And that's not even turned all the way up on bass. I can go so much more. And I can mess with the, the mid and the treble as well. I consider this a dub. Yes, we got bass in the Lexus. Finally, finally. Uh, thank God that the brothers on the rise. 
Yo guys, I call that a dub on the Lexus LS430. It was a quick, cheap, and easy fix because getting a new speaker or a new subwoofer for this car is like 300, 400 bucks redone or rebuilt or brand new, one of the two. This right here, this kit that I bought was about like 30, 40 dollars. I don't really exactly remember, but I got it off of eBay Motors. You guys could look up subwoofer kits for this vehicle. This is an O2 Lexus LS430. Uh, I think it varies for the different years and stuff, but this was a quick and easy fix. Just do exactly what I showed you in the video and it fixes the subwoofer. Uh, the sub and the base and everything's really solid on this car. I actually really like the base on this car. It's decent. It's not outrageous, but it's good for a factory stereo. But we are going to do something later on to get that crazy base out of this car. But just one step closer to getting this car running properly and getting it to look good. I got to fix that mirror. As you can see, there's tape on it. This mirror is all janky and it likes to move around when we drive. So that's another thing but gotta get the motor stuff fixed first before we can do any more cosmetic modification and guys with all that being said I hope you guys did enjoy this video I know it's pretty long and pretty girthy of a video for me to record on just doing a speaker but I kind of went through all the ins and outs of taking it out and cutting and doing all that crazy stuff to show you guys exactly how to do this perfectly just just for the fun of it you know this is one of the little things that I wouldn't normally record like fixing a subwoofer because I like to do the big things like wheels coilovers lowering kits cosmetic modifications performance enhancements that's the stuff I like to record but this was something different something that I don't usually show so I hope you guys did enjoy this little this little uh, it's not little it was a girthy video but okay. I hope you guys just enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below on what you guys think we're gonna do next to this car uh, Anything you guys have feedback wise, put it down there. Like, share, and subscribe. You already know because that helps me out a ton. And as you guys can see, the Beatles right there. I have to take care of that. There's stuff going wrong with it as well. And then we move on to this one. A lot of stuff coming for this one. So just wait and we'll get there. So hopefully you guys ride with this journey. And I'll see you guys on the next one. It's been your boy, Zeph from Cruise Customs. And I'm out. Peace.